Hello my darling! Welcome to my channel. I'm your favorite daughter Sita today again with a new pick up and reading and my darling you already know today's topic is that first time what your future spouse will think about you. Maybe they are just looking at you, they're just observing you, you guys haven't talk yet okay you guys are not talking just before having the communication before having the conversation how will your future spouse perceive you or what type of person you are okay what will they think of you just by looking at you and it is more updated version my darling 2023 updated version because we are changing our energies are gaining momentum we are more powerful nowadays so let's go find out my darling that what your future spouse will think about you first time meeting them, okay? My three guides, my garden angel, archangel, Michael, my heart, soul, channel, message through me for my beautiful darling, darlings. Pile one, pile two, and pile number three. My darlings, if you're new to my channel, I've no idea what is going on. Let me tell you, I am an intuitive teleader. I use my intuition and magical power to channel message from angels and universe to guide you guys. This is purely intuitive as reading, my darlings. So trust your intuition and trust your gut feelings in order to choose the perfect group for yourself. My pile number one, you got the illumination. Let me focus it, my darling. You got the illumination. Look at that. This is my pile number one. Pile number two is love. Wow, you got the love. This is pile number two. And pile number three is getaway. Pile number three is getaway okay so i'm gonna be giving you a beautiful closure look where you can pause the video and choose the proper group for yourself i hope my darling you choose the perfect group for yourself i'll get the timestamps in the description box go there click on the timestamps and the video will give you the exact timing when your pile is going to be started my darlings if you're not into my soul tribe go ahead subscribe to my channel hit the bell icon for a new update I love you, my darling, so much. So let's go jump into your reading. Hello, my darlings from amazing group number one. Welcome, welcome, welcome. So you choose this amazing card that is all about illumination. And this card is kind of giving me the vibe that you will be in a very eye-opening kind of a moment at the point of time meeting your future spouse for the first time. You're like, yes, I am exactly opening myself up for new beginnings. I'm not holding myself back anymore. I'm like... Like you will be in a very happy moment. Yeah, lots of happiness is really going on with your life. Lots of happiness. Like you're revealing your talent. You are like looking at the situations in a more mature way, in a more broader way. You are like more open-minded. You are more acceptable than before at the point of time meeting your future spouse. Like, you don't, you don't have that a judgmental issue. or You're not judging anyone or anything at that point of time. You'll be in a very, like, yeah, whatever happens, that happens. Let's go see this thing. Look at that thing. So you'll be in a very um, acceptable energy. Like, you are really accepting things the way they are. You're not really judging anything. You, you, you will be in a, that kind of a situation okay so that is illumination like you are illuminating your darkness you're not in your darkness anymore you can see the things the way it is so let's go my darling find out that when it comes to your future spouse how will they perceive you at the first time how will they see you at the first time Three guys, my guardian angel, Archangel Michael Mahasa, who chill message for me for my beautiful book number one. And let's go find out that. How will your future spouse perceive you at the first time? Okay, the tower, the four of pentacles, the eight of sword. Okay, first, let's go understand these three cards. First of all, my darling, your person sees you. Someone who is like unpredictable, someone new. Your person can sense that you are not like others, you are different. You're born different, the way you behave, that is different. And maybe other men or women act in the same way, but you are different. So just for example, my darling, maybe your person got some experience where other men and women behave in a certain way in front of them, but you are in a different kind. You are not behaving like others. Like there is something in you, you, you your attitude, your behavior, 
that is completely different from other men and women so whatever experience your person already got you're gonna be someone like a game changer they haven't experienced anything like you like you are the someone as a kind then your person is going to see you as a very stable person who is very much patient stable um, not really rushing to do anything like you know what you want that's the stability your person can sense in your mind in your spirit in your body in your attitude there is also stability calm peaceness like you don't feel like that you're having a headache like you really seems like a very calm peaceful person there is there is nothing wrong in your life your person can sense that there is nothing bad in your life you are all stable financially mentally physically you are all stable but your person is going to see you someone who underestimate their beauty pile number 1 maybe you are beautiful you are super beautiful and you think that you are beautiful but the way you are my darling you cannot able to perceive your true self by your own eyes and your person can sense this like your person will feel pile number 1 you are like more like you are more from your own self like you really show other people that you are something but no you are you are a lot more more you you are a lot more bigger than what you express to other people i can definitely see it as it feels like your person will see you someone who uh is very much down to earth and not able to see their true potentiality okay like it feels like my pile number one you got many talent you can do many things but sometimes you underestimate yourself your person can feel it. like it's their feelings okay they can feel like you can do many things but sometimes you underestimate your own power your own beauty okay and also your person is going to perceive you as very innocent soft who listen to other people you know my darling eight of swords energy like your person is going to perceive you as a very pure and innocent soul who is not having anything like um playing games or you are not having any mind or any intention to play games or play some witty wicked game you're not like that you're not playing games your person can sense that you're very much serious you're very much positive but in this tricky world you cannot stay like you are not a trickster your person can sense it okay so this card okay, these two cards want to come out so you got the wheel of fortune and the ace of swords together so what is wheel of fortune your person is going to see you as a very nice person very good person like they can sense that you're very nice you're very good and there is ups and downs in life but you're very good at juggling things up in your life is a sword you are very transparent your mind and whatever you say through your mouth exact same thing so you are not a two-faced person uh, your future spouse can definitely sense at the first time like whatever whatever you say you do the things as your words okay you are someone who is very much like you know follow their promises is a sword someone who knows that what they're doing and your words are very powerful your person can definitely see you as someone who follow their own words and very much like promise like you promise things to do you promise things to have and you can keep your promise you are not someone like who just forget their promise and do their own stuff but no you are someone you just keep your promise to yourself i can definitely see your person is going to perceive you as a like a one in a million kind of a person also will of fortune they will feel very lucky that they met you but let me tell you one thing they haven't met anybody like you before you are the first one because the tower card is here like they're in a shock they're in like surprised uh face like they're having a surprising face that like, oh my god pile number one really this type of person to exist in this world what the card is strength you are very strong when it comes to your mind like you got lots of inner strength and your person can sense it you are confident you are confident you are powerful 
and you are so confident in yourself that sometimes you cannot see that how much influential you are my group number one like let, let, let me tell you the energy that I'm getting here the energy that I'm getting that your person sees you as someone who influence other people very easily okay you influence other people very easily like people love to copy you people love to follow your path people love to do exactly what you're doing to yourself but you don't have any idea that people love to follow you that people are exactly doing the things that you have already done before maybe you don't even realize it that people are there to copy you there is lots of copycats because you're very much strong you're very much confident and you're doing your own stuff leo energy is very strong here leo energy leo or mars energy that is aries and scorpio the sagittarius energy aquarius libra gemini and taurus Virgo, capricorn but the main thing is leo vibe is here. you are like very strong person very strong person you are and you influence other people you don't even have any idea my darling that your person is going to see you as very influential like people have to copy you and that's why your person says that sometimes you underestimate your own value you don't even realize it that how powerful you are six of cups your person is going to start the communication and the first day the communication will go so well that both of you will exchange contact number or some social media details and will have that amazing connection with them the six of cups soulmate reunion reincarnation going on pile number one this is your past lover that you have already married in another lifetime this person is again entering in your life and having the same relationship with them again like i can definitely feel like pile number one you're going to marry your soulmate you're going to marry someone who exactly vibe the way you vibe so both of your vibrations will be same but the main thing is like your person can see you very influential very surprising very lucky and very transparent straightforward and you are not someone that you you got straight to the point you are not someone like you go round and round to say anything you're like yes very much straightforward transparent and your mind and your voice are same so what's there how will your future spouse think about you at the first day uh, they will think that you are very <laughs> Like you are a discoverer, you are an explorer because ninth house talks about exploration, ninth house ruled by Sagittarius. It's all about traveling. Or your person will perceive you as someone who got lots of experiences through traveling. I don't care, my darling, you traveled before meeting your person or not, but this is how your future spouse will perceive you. They will perceive you as someone who had already traveled many places. And you got lots of experiences about different cycles, about different type of people. Like uh, by by looking at you, they can feel that you are very knowledgeable. You are very um, wise, also very philosophical, and you are someone you love to explore things a lot. Like lots of exploration vibe is going on here because Nine Thoughts talks about going to the places and meeting new people that you had no idea how to interact with. But anyway, you are meeting and connecting with them. Or uh, maybe you are the student of mass communication, the journalism or history. You are the student of uh, like you can be a reporter, a journalist, a writer, like who can connect or maybe a traveler, a travel vlogger. Like you write things, you you see things, you learn things. You like your person is going to perceive you like you are not afraid, you're not shy to interact with new people and get some new friends. So you are someone like yes you can mix up with other people very easily you can have some friends outside and you are not shy okay you are very much communicative you can use your throat chakra to interact with many people and just get comfortable with those unknown people unknown stranger okay you got that energy you got that vibe your person is going to see you as very imaginative and dreamy at the first sight okay because your person is going to perceive you as someone is very imaginative very dreamy um always have a dream world i don't know like you look like a dreamy person maybe your eyes your behavior your dressing style it's kind of look like very dreamy uh, like you have your fantasy world your visions are amazing pile number one you are very ambitious your person can sense that you're ambitious you are very much plan oriented you can be an advisor you can be a groomer or you really use your vision or your mind's eye 
to predict the future or to predict what's about to happen with you or what's about to happen with other people so your visions are very strong number 26 number 47 these numbers are very important maybe it's your birthday or april and month of july is going to be very important maybe within this month it's your birthday or you'll meet this person in this month but Neptune definitely talks about your visions, your psychic ability. A person is going to see you as someone who is very psychic or intuitive or it's very much uh, like you know many things, okay? I don't know, like looking at you, your person can feel that you know many things that normally people doesn't know. Like your person is going to perceive you as as an occultist or someone who knows the secret world secret knowledge your person is going to perceive you oh my god the air is energy they're going to be perceiving you as a very fiery person very stubborn person um very workaholic action oriented like if someone told you to do something you're going to be doing that at that point of time you don't like to wait or you don't like to um like hang in situations you don't buffer this is a vibe i'm getting my pal number one your person will see you as very much straightforward and fast moving and action oriented person like if someone asks anything from you you're going to be giving them as soon as possible you're not going to be making them wait you're not going to be going round and round to tell them something so definitely my darling your person is going to see you as an airy sign like someone who is very much action oriented like action 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 that is exactly Pile number one is all about. Okay. Definitely a person is going to perceive as a very fiery person, very passionate person, or someone who does know what passion means. Or maybe you're going to be following your passion as well. Okay. How your person is going to perceive you. Okay. Okay. Protection. Okay. You're very much self protective. You're very much self protective. You protect yourself. You are an introvert or maybe someone extrovert watching my video who really gets overly protective when you are outside like definitely my darling protection or maybe a sense of security your person will feel in you like your person can sense that you are someone they feel safe secure real you know with you like you are someone very much trustworthy reliable um you take care of your own boundaries you're very much protected of your own energy. You're very much protected of your own vibrations, okay? You don't want to share your energies with other people anymore. Your person is going to perceive you as, oh wow, it's a clearance card, right? The broomstick clearance. So you will, end, you will end up meeting them at the point of time when you're clearing your life from all those problems from all those like uh, negative energies there, there is no negative energies in your life at the point of time meeting them so lots of clearance is going on between you and your person and your person's life is also like clearing the clutter that's what vibe going on um and your person can sense that you are someone you are so good at cutting off people you are so good at like telling other people that mm, maybe i'm not available for you like you're someone you reserved yourself for the perfect one you can do it you can do it without even trying like you know how to protect yourself you know how to just you know not give your energy to anybody who comes towards you and the shadow that is crying mirror you are someone you work through shadow you work through um shadow magic or there is something my pala mama like looking at you your person's all insecurities are coming out like this is this is the first time my darling your person will feel that way like you are the one my pile number one that your person can feel that they're nervous to take an initiative your person has never felt this kind of nervousness before or you are intimidating my pile number one or your person will feel a bit intimidated by you and they can feel a bit shy or like there is something that about your power so much powerful you're so much reserved protected you're not uh, taking too much time to putting down any other people's emotions so your person will feel a bit scared before approaching you or maybe looking at you your person can sense that oh my god no i need to study pile number one more before taking any action and the last but not least your person person oh my god he is cleansing Oh my god, look at that. You got the cleansing here. 
and you got the clearance here isn't it obvious my darling the cleanse is really going on in your life like the cleansing and the clearance you meet your future spouse at the point of time when you are not in a bad relationship when you are not judging anyone when you are really not doing anything that is against your will there is so much of clearance and you just know that nobody is forcing you to do something it's like you're going with the flow you're on your own energy you're just doing your own stuff definitely my group number one i can feel that your person will perceive you as a very clean and clear and pure you are the purification power for your future spouse you purify your person's soul and circle like you know you maybe you're gonna be someone like you're gonna be detecting um, that some people are lying or trying to deceive you or deceive your person you're also gonna be protecting them from all those deceive, deceiving people or all those devilish energies or manipulating people it feels like my group number one your person is going to see you as a very clean pure powerful magical open-minded religious person at the first time who is very protective of their own cell phone energy very much you know having a healthy boundary and who knows how to work with their shadow aspect and who knows that when it comes to our shadow a shadow aspect how to control it your person is going to see you someone who just knows about the dark world that we live in but also knows how to protect themselves from the dark world that's all i got for you my group number one i hope you enjoyed this reading give it a thumbs up also my darling subscribe to my channel that bell icon for a new update i love you my darling so much hello my darling my amazing group number two welcome 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 so you choose the love card this is your reading my darling you choose the love the love is all about love with the energy first time your person will perceive you will look at you and they can feel that you're very loving you're very romantic or you are someone you love yourself so much like you may be a dating coach watching my video or your person will perceive you as someone who help other people in love relationship or uh, it feels like that you got lots of ideas how to be romantic how to be seductive how to remain positive in a relationship you may be a psychologist you may be someone help other people in their relationship or maybe you are just someone normal person who got that I know born dating coach kind of a vibe. You got that idea, my pal number two. Maybe you're single watching my video, but you know that how you're supposed to be when you are in a relationship. So it's just your person will feel that way, my group number two. Your person can sense that you are someone you know what the true love is and what the fake love is and how people fake it, how people use um, love this word to get whatever they want. You know many things that like you know my group number two the true meaning of love or the true true value of love there is some like valuing going on like you know how to value the true love okay so let's go find out my beautiful group number two that how will your future spouse perceive you at the first time meeting okay the first impression of you to your future spouse so here i can definitely feel my group number two let's go find out that before having a communication before communicating with them how does your future spouse feel about you or what will they perceive you how will they perceive you sorry how will they perceive you let's go find out my group number two how will your future spouse perceive you as a person uh, five of pentacle the six of sword and the ace of sword okay so your person first time is going to see you someone who is a new person in that town or in that place uh, you're you're a new person you are someone new there okay so yes your, your future person is going to perceive you as a new person who is just moving there so maybe you're going to be changing your home or you're changing a location or you're going to be traveling to somewhere going somewhere where you are new your person is going to see you as someone new who got no idea that what's really going on in that place because five of pentacles talks about that minimum amount of knowledge like less knowledgeable here in this reading it talks about like you don't even know that um you, you, you don't even know that much about that place or about that country about that town 
or about that spit. It's gonna be any place, okay? Let's let's stick to the place. So your person is going to perceive you as a new in town, a new in the village, or new in the country, something like that. Also, so sorry, your person is going to perceive you as a very straightforward, cutthroat, logical, scientific, real person. And who is very much real? I don't know why, but your person can perceive you someone who is very much real. You are not a fake person. Whatever you feel, you show it in your face. You show it through your action. Mm. What else? Okay. You got the world, yes, and the five of cups, yeah. Yeah, your person is going to see you as a very emotional person. I don't know why. <laughs> Maybe that day your mind will be a bit down or you're going to be having a gloomy day. Um, five of cups talks about like, your person is going to look at you and they're going to be feeling like, are you sad? Okay, this person is kind of like, a sad person or maybe your person is going to see you as someone that who is very much bored of being alone or maybe your person will see you at the point of time when you are boring like when you're feeling that you're boring or you are very much bored it feels very much boring you're not really enjoying that place you're like oh my god i want to go home there's you're gonna you're less interested in that place and your person is going to see you because your person is going to sense that you are not enjoying the place, you are not enjoying the moment, you are just bored of that place. And the world really talks about that. Your person is going to see you from a distance. Definitely from a distance they will see you. But they can sense that you are having a very unique beauty and their other people are not looking like you. So different race is coming here, my darling. It's a gen general reading, so take what's resonating with you. Gen gen uh, different race, different skin color, different type of dress, different type of body type. Like your person is going to see you that you are not having a good day, or just by looking at you, they can feel that something's wrong with this person, um, or feeling bored or left alone, kind of sitting in the corner. This is kind of a vibe, okay? All the world you're just new there on the old world also talks about that you look so gorgeous and you'll you're not like the native person or native citizen of that place i don't know why your person will feel like you're coming you're coming from different place your person can sense that Pile number two how will you feel this spouse perceive you uh okay they will perceive you someone okay Let's take one more. Yeah. So definitely, my darling, they will perceive you someone who is a shy person. Nine of Wands talks about dedication, fighter, or someone who is really trying hard to not show the all potential. Because Nine of Wands talks about like your person can see that you are very talented or you are very secretive. You got lots of things to show to the world, but you're not showing anything. You're like. There is so many things in you that you're not showing. Like your person can sense the depth in you. Your person can definitely feel that you are a very deep person. You're not a shallow person. You're a very deep person. There's so much things about you. They can sense that mm, this person, this Palama too, looks very interesting. This is a very deep person. So much things to know. Like you look very mysterious. Yeah, according to your person, your person is going to look you know feel you that you're very mysterious you got the justice card at card as well this card justice talks about fated meeting or it's just your destiny that you end up meeting each other justice talks about like you person you know loves the way like they're looking at you from a distance but they love the way that you're very much fair to other people and fair to yourself you're very much elegant respectful and you respect others privacy and you respect your time also so something about you my darling that is very respectful it feels like you give respect to other people you give respect to strangers your person is going to see you like that also of cups your person is going to see you like you're very romantic and you're very loving caring nurturing and nourishing you're also very baby type 
and you're also someone my darling there's so much thing about you but you're not showing it your person can sense that mm, pile number two i can definitely see there is a big ocean within you but other people don't have any idea what they're missing this is a vibe that i'm getting okay let's go get some more let's go my darling get some more but how does your future spouse perceive you at the first time okay third house communication okay so your person will try to communicate with you definitely they will try to communicate with you also third house is very much related to communication connecting with each other and siblings or brother sister so through brother sister you meet your person through sibling you meet your person or the first time your person will see you that when you, you are talking with your brother sister or your friend but the communication talks about that your person will try to communicate to with you because you are someone you're not gonna be taking initiative you are like a shy person yes trans uh, transit climate talks about change change of location in different location in different place when you're changing something you're gonna be meeting them also your person can sense that you are coming from a different waiter different place where the weather and the climate is different from that place also your person is going to perceive you as a very soft and nurturing person very sensitive person your, your, your future spouse is going to perceive you as a very sensitive soul very sensitive person who get hurt very easily your person's yes the aries energy your person is going to see you as someone who is very stubborn and like a very um overly passionate and overly courageous energy because your person can perceive you as someone that who does thing without even thinking and after opening the mind uh you just you know make this projects and make this work go away and you look for another one big one so it feels like pile number two your person is going to perceive as a very action oriented stubborn powerful someone is very soft sushi cuddly but why like it's, it's, it's like a changing place so your person is going to feel that you are different from others and you are feeling shy hmm. how does your future spouse perceive you at the first moment so you can feel the guardian that is the familiar card and you got the <laughs> concealment the cloak um, and i told you my darling that you're someone very secretive and you are someone you're not showing your whole self or you're not showing your true self that exactly what you do exactly whatever power you got in the first meeting and exactly your person can sense that you are concealing many things you're like hiding many things you're not showing your true potential you're not showing your true face you're not showing your true ideal type to anybody Also, my darling, your person can sense that you're a cat lover, or you're someone who's very much protective. You can be a guardian angel, like you can really save a lot of people, a lot of you know, a lot of babies, a lot of people from nightmares. You are someone very psychic, intuitive. Pile number two, your person is going to perceive you as a very fashionable, very stylish person. I can definitely feel pile number two that you if you just was going to perceive you someone like a worth waiting for and like looking like a puzzle like your person will feel that you're a puzzle or a mystery and they'll have to find out that what's behind the veil i don't know my darling just you make them feel so thrilled about you that's all i got for you my beautiful part number two i hope you enjoyed this reading give a thumbs up also my darling subscribe to my channel hit that bell icon for a new update i love you my darling so much hello my darling i'm using part number three welcome 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 so you choose the gateway right so your person is going to see you first time okay they're going to be perceiving you as an angel as a as an unicorn as someone very much angelic positive cute loving sensitive person because gateway talks about that you are the one 
with you, your person can jump into the heaven, can go into the world that is completely different. Your person is going to perceive you as a dream come true. That's the vibe that I'm getting. Like you are the exact one that your person manifested in their life. So your person is going to manifest you, my pile number three, in their life. Because they're a very powerful manifester. You are going to be marrying someone who is a powerful manifester. And they're going to be manifesting you in their lives. So that's why they can see you. That my dream girl or dream boy is standing in front of me. So my beautiful part number three. Let's go find out. How does your future spouse perceive you in the first meeting? So you got the hair friend. <laughs> wow, what a start. You got the justice. Wow. You got the ace of cups. What a start. What a reading. So pile number three, your person can see you like, you know, my darling, their, their, their intuition, their third eye chakra will be so activated at that point of time. Your person can say that this is my husband. This is my wife. I'm going to marry them. Like a go-getter. Your person will have this energy. Your person will connect with you. Your person will connect with your guardian, your parents, your sibling or whoever there is for marriage. Like first time your person see you and they can feel that that's, that's the have your wife material. I want to marry this person. I want to have the future with this person. The Hierophant talks about the kiss. They can see the future with you. They can see the future with you. Then the Justice card is here. Your person is going to see you as a fated, destined person. It feels like you guys are fated to meet each other. Destined to, to meet each other. Also, your person is going to perceive you as a very fair person. Like you're very fair. And you believe in fairness. You are not. You are not doing anything. Like you know. You are not doing partially. Partially. Um, partiality. That is not you. You are very much fair. You are very much positive. You are like. Whatever you give. That you will receive. Like the mirroring universe. That is a vibe. Your person can sense that. Yes. I have been manifesting exactly this person. For a long time. And now I can see them in front of my eyes. I'm not going to be losing any chance anymore it's a cup your person can sense that you got unconditional love for other people you love 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 you expand your heart chakra without even thinking that what you're receiving from those that you give love and that's the power your person can sense that you're a very generous very positive very loving person and you give lots of energy to other people and that's why my darling you don't even have to ask for positive energy because that is always there because what you give that you receive you're receiving lots of help from divine guidance i love it to your person is going to perceive you as their perfect happy material or wifey material okay so they're going to be falling in love with you at the first time ace of pentacles two ss my spiritual group my psychic group lots of my psychic witches tarot reader astrologers light worker you're you're watching this video two ss my my witchy group Definitely feel your person wants to be with you in a new relationship, new, 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 new connection with lots of stability. Okay, your person can see you someone that they can start a new life with and you're going to be holding on to them. And you're going to be building this amazing relationship with them. Okay. So what is there in this part number three, my darling, that how does your future spouse feel about you the first time? Okay. So it's tower. <laughs> And you got the Queen of Pentacles. Wow. Okay. Now let me tell you one thing. The, the Ace of Pentacles talks about that your person can sense that you are the new beginning. You are the new blessing that angels are giving them. So you, your person is going to receive you as a gift or perceive you as a gift. Okay. A gift in marriage because Ace of Pentacles and the hair friend, the gift in marriage. And then you got the tower card. And tower talks about that something unexpected. So this meeting is going to be unexpected. And the way your person is going to perceive you for marriage so early, that can really give you a shock that, oh my God, this person is really, really thinking about the future. So the tower is all about like getting surprised of or getting like very much surprised by them or something. Then you got the queen of pentacles. Your person is going to perceive you as a rich person. Someone is generous, like nurturing, rich, positive, powerful, got money in their bank. Your person is going to see you as a very rich person. Like they can feel that you're rich, you're positive. Like you got, you know that how to, how to get things for yourself. So you're not looking for 
have your wifey for for money you just look to have your wifey for the way you are how does your future spouse perceive you in the first day my darling you got the lovers i told you you got the lovers and the two of sword why the two of sword is here let's go get a card that is the six of cups yes so first time your person will see you they will be confused that oh my god this is the exact one that i have been manifesting for a long time and they'll be so happy that they will be so much confused that oh my god really manifestation can work this crazily and first time they can sense that there is a future as a lover with you like your person got a very strong tarot chakra my darling your person can sense that there is a new beginning solid foundation in relationship that they're about to get with you because lovers mean of course you guys are lovers and soulmate of course you guys are really taking a new path and the marriage is here so the marriage is here new foundation is here and the lovers is here and to a certain means you know you just don't know what to do what to choose you're confused and then you got the six of cups so your person is going to be confused for initial moment a bit then then something will happen and your person is like no exactly they are my soulmate why am i why am i confused i don't have to get confused okay you person can sense that you are their soulmate you are the one for them they will they, they can strongly feel about you how does your future spouse feel about you at the first moment they see you sagittarius and saturn the structure and expansion and libra the balance yes your person can sense that you're very much balanced they're very much balanced in life they're going to perceive you as someone emotionally physically mentally or balanced your person is going to see you someone is very open minded who is very much ready for anything very much experimental expansion who is very much ambitious and not having a shallow mind you're going to be having a very open broad mind very broad heart very generous heart a charitable heart you are someone you are like the hybrid your energy is like the hybrid you can run fast you can focus thing and you can get whatever you want you're like an achiever your person can see you as a first date also your person is going to perceive you someone who can be a god goddess and saturn saturn really gives him the vibe that your person is going to see you as someone who who believe in long term strong relationship and yeah a very strong and long term relationship a very solid foundation so your person is going to see you as someone like they can have a solid foundation and a very long term relationship because saturn talks about long term something that is long term and sagittarius and saturn these two cards like jupiter and saturn they're friend they're like preacher and student so your person can sense that there is so much things to learn from you maybe you have idea and you have knowledge about something that is not so available and normal for other people okay so what's there how does your future spouse perceive you for the first time my beautiful pile number 3 was there for you your person is oh my god you can't see one clock and okay so if you're down to group number 2 you can see group number 2 because these two cards also fell for group number 2 so you got the cloak that is the constellation so your person is going to see you as someone who is very secretive mysterious doesn't show all the part of themselves at the first day just knows how to play very much mysterious and playful your person is going to perceive you and also your person is going to perceive you like like a guardian like a safety zone where your person can rely on you you're very much trustworthy you can do anything possible like you are the guardian you are the most family or person that they 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 like first time they meet you and they can feel like oh my god i'm so familiar with this person i can feel that there is some connection between us that we don't have we don't know that but there is some connection between us because this and you know, the cat is here the cat made intuitive psychic feeling your person can sense that there is something between you two and your person can sense that yeah they are ready to solve the puzzles and problems that they are facing the definitely your person is going to see you as a happy mutual or the wifey mutual from the from the day one okay so that's all i got for you my beautiful group number one i hope you enjoyed this reading give it a thumbs up also my darling subscribe to my channel hit that bell icon for a new update i love you my darling so much